Hey guys, today I want to talk about how you can use your existing software to create a latency-free playback environment in OBS. Now this assumes that you have a very specific make of audio interface and I'm talking about RME's audio interfaces because you're going to need RME's Total Mix FX software. Doing it this way negates the need for an external mixer. If you're like me and you've been trying to get into streaming and you're finding that your playback out of your DAW has a lot of latency when you try to jam along to it, for example, this is one of the best workarounds I've found. Obviously, like I said before, it only works if you have an existing RME interface. So as recommended by RME, if you go into the Total Mix Effects window, you'll see I already have it activated, but you need to go to a digital channel of these ones. It's unlikely that you're using them, which is why they recommend that you use one of these. So I just picked ADAT 5.6. I don't have an ADAT uh, device connected. And you want to go into this, so it, it will be obviously not highlighted in yours, but if you go in here, um, you want to click on loopback. So once you click on loopback, this becomes its own output, kind of like your headphones and speakers. You can control volumes here and everything. So what loopback does is it basically sends the audio back into RME. And if you go into, say, streaming software like OBS, and you go, say, you know, in, into this window, if you know OBS at all, you drop down and select, um, so in my case, it would be 8 at 5, 6. And what you'll get is your audio back out for your computer. So it doesn't matter whether you're playing a game or whether you're using your DAW, you'll get your audio back in with no latency whatsoever. And I've tested this out and found that it's true. The benefits of this approach are obviously immense. Firstly, you don't have to buy a mixer and run a whole bunch of cables out and back in to your DW. The second thing that you won't have to do is you won't have to use plugins like this one. So this is Windows only, I think, but it is a VST plugin that you can use to output audio to anything. The problem with this plugin is that because you need a decent buffer size to run your virtual instruments, you're going to end up with some latency. So I was so happy when I found this out that I could just use the existing software that I had and end up with a zero latency playback and streaming situation. So I hope this helped you. If it did, please do throw me a like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks.